Okay, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to, uh, you know, uh, create a new work cell, and then we'll try to uh, work through lab number one uh, from your uh, lab assignment. Okay, so let's start by creating a new work cell. So I'm going to uh, click on the new cell key here. And first thing we're going to give it is a name. So let's say, for example, we call it uh, lab one. We can go to the next. Uh, here we don't have to change any of the uh, uh, methods. We're just going to leave it the way it is. Let's go to next. Uh, for this uh, robot selection, we need to select a robot software. So we're going to go with the uh, version V9.30. And we're going to select next. Um, so we need a tool. And uh, Fanuc has a number of tools on the CAD library. You can either pick it from this library if you don't have it already here. So you can uh, select uh, the tool from the library by clicking on this icon. And if you go to your end of arm toolings, EOAT, and you can go to pointers and uh, select pointer and then click on OK. And that should uh, show up over here. Okay, uh, if not, uh, it's going to be over displayed here. So we're going to select that as our tool. I'm going to click Next. And now we need to make a selection for the robot. Um, I'm going to use the uh, R2000ID slash 165FH. So make that selection, click on Next. And everything looks, seems to be fine here. Make sure that this box is checked, click on Next. And uh, everything else is fine here. Sort by name, and all those are checked. Click on Next. And we should now be able to create our cell. So we can click on Finish. OK, so now it's going to load up the uh, Teach Pendant. And also, it's going to load the um, robot. So let the uh, controller uh, you know, update all the uh, firmware. So it's going, it's going to take a few minutes to do that. Okay, so here it's going to ask you the type of flange. And we'll just enter one with the, on our keyboard. That's the standard flange and press enter and let it boot up and set up the uh, files. OK, so we should be almost uh, ready. Uh, it's just going to take a few more seconds to load. Okay, so there we go. And we should see the robot uh, in the workspace. There we go. And we also have the uh, end of arm tooling. So we have the end of arm tooling here. So we can zoom in there. And if we hit the uh, scroll button on our mouse, we can pan it. So we can move it to the side. I normally like to do that to create some space here. Okay, so now let us open up the uh, Teach Pendant, which is over here. You can click on the icon and select Teach Pendant. Okay, so now we have our Teach Pendant. Okay, so the uh, first question in the lab is uh, display the select screen in the space provided. Write the items found in the uh, soft uh, key fields. So it wants us to select the select screen. So we have the select screen here. And if we press this, so now we have uh, different uh, items here. So this is what uh, you need to enter in for the uh, question one of your lab. OK. So question two in your lab says, using the menu, navigate to the data 
top level menu and display the registers sub menu write down your observations so here we have to go to the menu item and then we have to look for the uh, uh, data uh, menu and then under the data menu we have the registers okay so we're going to click on menu okay and the good thing about fanuc is you can use these buttons to scroll up and down so we can scroll up and down and let us look for the data and uh, so is it up here? Nope, it's not there. Let's go to alarms, input, output, file setup, file. Okay, let's go to next, press enter. And there you go. So now if you go down to it, so it's in the next menu. So now you have data and then we can go to the right. So I can use this right arrow key here. Click on right. And so now I'm under registers and I can press enter. So now I have my data registers uh, menu. Okay, so this is called a sub menu. So it's part of your menu. Uh, because that's why we call it a sub menu. So this is where all your registers are going to be uh, displayed. Currently, we don't. Uh, we have all these registers are default registers. Okay, so later on when we're doing uh, more advanced labs, we're going to show you how to. Uh, give names for these registers and then use them uh, for some uh, some parts of your uh, labs okay so that was your question number two uh, question number three says uh, split the ipad and screen into either double view or triple view so to change the screen so basically what they want us to do is split the screen into two halves or three halves it's really up to us uh, to do that we're going to press the shift key uh, here and then we're going to hit the display key so you have the display key here so press on display and so here you can see you have single view double view triple view and so on all right so it's asking us to select either the double view or the triple view so we can go to double view and press enter so now you can see we have two screens uh, within this uh, window here if we do the same thing go to display we can go back to single press enter now we go back to our single screen and if we press uh, triple screen we can go to triple so press enter and so now we have uh, a triple screen okay um, so let's go back to a double screen I'm going to press double and uh, press enter so now we have two screens you can see you can actually move back and forth okay so that was your uh, question number three Question number four says, in one of the newly displayed windows, not the left window, navigate to the top level menu of setup and display the sub menu item called uh, frames. So here I want to display frames in this window. Okay, so we can uh, let go of the shift key. We don't, we're not going to use that. So I'm going to click on the left. So I'm going to, we're going to use the right side because it says don't use the left. So click on the right window, make that active. We'll go to menu and I have to look for frame here. So I'm going to go down and under your setup actually, you have frames here, it's in item number four. So I can use the right side arrow and go to the setup one and scroll down and press frames. Now, if I press enter, uh, what that's going to do, it's going to make this uh, right side window, a uh, window that displays the uh, robot uh, frames. Okay, so this is how you can actually uh, split your screens and each screen can have uh, one item that you want from your menu. So now, I've, now that I've selected frames, I'm going to press the enter. And there you can see, see my right screen here now displays the setup uh, frames. Okay, so that is your... Uh, item or you know item number four in your uh, lab one okay so item number five says set the frame screen as a menu favorite so here we want to uh, set frames as a menu favorite um, so what we're going to do here is we need to uh, go to our uh, menu and we're going to go down again we're going to scroll down till we get to uh, frames 
Okay, scroll down and then go to frames here. You see we have frames. And here you can see we have these blank, empty, these are called uh, uh, menu uh, favorites. So these are basically uh, special keys that you can program. So for example, we have, we have one here, one over here, one here, and so on. You can actually create uh, you know, quite a number of them. So we want to make frames uh, a favorite uh, key to be one of these keys here. So as you can see, it says menu favorites, press and hold to set. So once you've selected uh, which item you want to make as your uh, uh, menu favorite, uh, you're going to put your mouse on that particular button, uh, let's say this one here, and you're going to press. So technically you would do this on the Teach Pendant by pressing and holding it with your finger for about uh, three to four seconds, and then it will automatically default to that setting. Uh, here what we have to do is use your mouse, put your mouse here, and uh, press the uh, left mouse key and then hold it for a few seconds. There you go. Right, so now you can see that this frames is now the uh, one of the items uh, that we've added to this uh, menu here. Okay, so that uh, that sets our uh, oh, that's our uh, item number uh, five. Right, so we've answered question number five. Okay. Now, question number six says toggle from full menus to quick menus. Okay, so toggling between quick menus and uh, full menus. So if you hear, if you see this, you have menus. Under menus, you have menu one, utilities one, and then utilities two. Uh, so sometimes what you want to do is you don't want to display these, uh, you know, these extra windows that open with menu. Uh, so what you can do is you can actually uh, set it up as a quick menu or a full menu. And you do that by hitting this function key, FCTN. So press the function key. And under function key, you see here it says quick full menu. So I'm going to use this left arrow key, I move to function number two. And right now it says quick slash full menus. So if I press enter here, and if I click on my menu, you can see that my menu says quick one. So it only shows me uh, one box of menus. If I want to show the next box, I have to use the uh, drop. I can use my keys, arrow keys, go down, press enter, and see it goes to quick number two. And it, I can uh, use the arrow down, press enter, it goes to quick one again. Okay, so right now we are under the quick menus. If you want to go back to your full menu, uh, you can, again, you go back to function and we go to the next window and uh, we select a quick full menus and press enter. So now we should be back to the full menu. How do we know? We can click on the menu item here and you can see now we have our uh, menu items. Hope uh, that has helped you guys. Um, so this is just the first video for your lab number one. I'm going to uh, post your uh, lab uh, number two uh, on uh, Slate uh, soon. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching.